I have a confession to make. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about my relationship with Chinese food. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. I know that I made a video before about the best Chinese food and I did try to make a list of like my favorites and what I wanted to suggest you guys to check out. But I have a confession to make. If I don't have to, I don't eat Chinese food. I eat no Chinese snacks, I eat no Chinese food, I eat nothing related to Chinese, to be honest. There are some things that I can eat and there are some things that I actually do like, but the main issue here is that in China the food is just extremely unhealthy. So the last many months I have eaten like almost zero Chinese food and immediately I go travel to a smaller city or like a small village then I will start like having um, <laughs> I'll start having like pimples in my face and a stomach ache, I'm feeling uncomfortable, my stomach is hanging in like a really uncomfortable kind of way. I just feel disgusting to be honest, like I'm really sorry but I have to be honest here, I just feel disgusting. There are a few things that I do enjoy eating though and here again I'm honest guys I'm honest so I hate Chinese food in general but there are a few things that I actually do enjoy. One is dumplings. Yeah so I was in North China for quite a while and we always had dumplings and I don't like to eat them every day and all the time and I like I gotta say like with pork inside and vegetables and egg, it's it's fine, it's like, it's not that I don't like it, but I'm also not super excited, I'm just like, this is cool, like, you know, I feel full afterwards and I just don't feel disgusting, I feel like dumplings is kinda like a healthier solution if you can't get any like foreign food or western food or if you don't cook yourself. And I know you guys are thinking, Ling Ling, western food is so freaking unhealthy as well. Yes, of course, if you go to McDonald's and you get a burger, yes, then of course it's super unhealthy as well but here in Beijing they have started making a lot of like salad shops where you can make your own salad there are also places where you can have like the small well the, you can buy panini but you can also buy the the bing <laughs> what is that called the and then there is stuff inside and you can get that with botai the Gosh, my, I've been speaking Chinese for four days in a row and literally my English is just ka out of the window. Gosh. Yeah, so that's just really amazing and they also start making burritos here which you can kind of make healthy your own, you know, you, you choose what you want to put in there. So that's pretty nice. Number two on my list is the Xinjiang food because they have the naan bread which is so delicious and then also they have the sour yogurt which again is amazing because the yogurt here in China oh my god don't get me started on that like that's crazy there is so much sugar in that stuff seriously you buy a little container of yogurt and I think literally 80% is white sugar <laughs> Right now, I'm looking, every time I buy something, I'm looking at the back of like the box and then see, okay, does it say white sugar? And every time it says that, I'm like, nah, I'll put it back, you know. And I love yogurt in Denmark. We have so much, so much great yogurt. But here, gosh, yeah, I totally just gave up on that. Actually, some of my foreign friends, they're making the yogurt themselves because then they can control the sugar 
but yeah I, I should do that well I'll do that when I get a kitchen I'm so excited to move out of my university and get my own place so I can make food every day okay chill woman chill I've been alone like a lot today <laughs> anyways then that's like the two things that I can eat where I feel like not super unhealthy like the Xinjiang food it's also like ro char which is not it's not healthy I know but we last time we had it we had it together with a salad so I felt better about that problem though is just that the Chinese have a tendency to take the dressing and then just like boom make an explosion on top of your salad and you're like couldn't you just have let me do it on my own <laughs> let me control my own salad my own dressing <laughs> <laughs> That's what I still need to remember to tell them that because <laughs> I just assume people will let me do that But they have a tendency to just like boom on top of your salad and like gosh, there is no I'm not being healthy here. I'm eating salad, but there's so much dressing is literally swimming around in there <laughs> Anyways, but apart from that literally everything else I can eat it. I'm not saying that I'm gonna like vomit or say no to all kinds of Chinese food if you're taking me out for a Chinese dinner No, I still eat it and I do eat it here and there and when I go to smaller towns Well, <laughs> I often go to the supermarket and buy oatmeal and milk <laughs> And then I just eat that for dinner, but I don't mind going out and eating rice and noodles once in a while It's just because I feel like it's so unhealthy. I would say I could eat hot pot more, but I don't really like hot pot. It's just like a bowl full of hot water kind of soup-ish. Lots of oil. The oil is everywhere. And then you can just put your own veggies and meat in there and stuff. Yeah, so that one is, I guess, is a healthier option. But again, like the, the soup is just so oily. It's just everywhere you're going here in China, just swimming in oil. If you want to go to like higher price, like more fancy restaurants where it might be healthier to eat Chinese food, then I would just choose the Western one and pay higher price for that and then have healthy Western food instead of. I guess I'm just like, I, I always tell people that my life is so like unstable. Every day is like new and crazy and different. You never know what's gonna happen next week and next week and next week. So when it comes to my food, I just like eat the same thing every single day. I try to cook more and guys, when I say cook, <laughs> it's not really cooking. It's literally just boiling a sweet potato. They're really cheap here. Boiling two eggs and then have some either like duro or jiro, like a chicken or beef. That's <laughs> literally what I do. <laughs> and then I have a few veggies here and there. And in between I eat my fruit and I eat my well western meals if I go out with friends. And then I have my oatmeal every single day. The oatmeal is always with me whenever I need it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sorry guys if you want me to do any kind of Chinese food related videos then it's probably not gonna happen. I guess if you have watched my videos for a while then you have also realized that I never ever talk about Chinese food and if I do I just like film it but I almost never comment on how I felt like how I felt when I ate it or what an experience it was like I usually only eat on camera for the camera to show you guys that I eat sometimes <laughs> but yeah I I don't I don't like Chinese food I don't like I can eat Hong Kong food once in a while but again I just, it's just so greasy and I just feel so unhealthy it's just mm, yeah um, I guess if I get like a Chinese cook then it might be easier to get healthy Chinese food or I did have a Chinese boyfriend once long time ago who was cooking for me so I ate Chinese food at that time and that was fine I'm just like it's fine like I'm not dying because I have to eat it that's not the problem I would just say that if I can choose 
then I would never Chinese, I would, I would never Chinese, I would never choose Chinese food. I'm sorry, I guess I'm gonna like lose tons of followers <laughs> because of this. Ah. Somebody asked me if I could do a video about Chinese snacks and I'm sorry. Well, I, I would do it if somebody else would be interested in doing it with me, but I would probably never do it on my own because I just don't enjoy it. I just feel, I feel so mm, unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys if you know any like healthy Chinese restaurants around here Beijing which is not super expensive then take me out <laughs> if not then let's just go and have a panini at the cafe coffee shop I don't think panini is is healthy either but I just feel more healthy when I eat avocado and chicken <laughs> <laughs> inside the panini instead of the oily soup. I just, I'm good at adapting to Chinese society. I just never really got used to the Chinese food. So I still eat it, but yeah, may bye bye. <laughs> we are in China anyway, so I kind of have to, right? That was all for this video. I hope that you don't hate me too much. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling below and also Leave a comment and tell me that you don't hate me because I don't like Chinese food. Or come and cook for me, you know. You know, you can always send me a message on my Instagram, Lena Around, Facebook, Lena Around. And you can also check out my Patreon, Lena Around. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See ya and zai jian. Bye-bye.